Welcome to video 151 in series 3, and now I'll complete the NPC state alert script. Okay, open up the NPC state alert script. Okay, this is a pretty interesting script. Let's just uh, put in these variables. So first of all, private read only, NPC state pattern, NPC, private float inform rate is equal to 3, private float next inform, private float offset is equal to 0 0.3, private vector 3 target position, private raycast hit hit, private collider and array, colliders, private collider and array, friendly colliders, private vector 3 look at target, private int detection count, private int last detection count, private transform possible target, and then here public npc state alert, so the name, same name as the script, pass in the uh, state pattern to reference, npc state pattern, npc state pattern, so npc will be equal to npc state pattern. So while I'm at it, let me go to the npc state pattern script and add in alert state is equal to new npc state alert this. Let me just save that as well. Uh, so that means what I'll do is I'll create a um, instance of the alert script and pass in this state pattern in the update state. I put there look, so I'm going to write a method, another method called look, in to patrol state. I'm going to put there npc.current state is equal to npc.patrol state. In to pursue state, I'm going to put in npc.currentState is equal to npc.pursueState, and the rest of the uh, required methods, well, they are not used. Next, I'll write the look method, so it's a pretty big one. So let's start with it. Void look. Colliders, we use an overlap sphere, so colliders is equal to physics.overlapSphere, npc.transform.position, comma npc dot site range comma npc dot my enemy layers and this is to confirm that we can still detect stuff so colliders has gotten that last detection count is equal to detection count you'll see what this is doing uh, basically i don't want the we're in the alert state now so the enemy uh suspects there's a target it, it, it can it's seen something in the patrol script and it thinks there's a target there but i don't want it to immediately jump to the conclusion that it has found a target. You could think of it as like maybe uh, like in the NPC state pattern I have there the uh, detection count, the required detection count. So it takes, the bigger this number is, uh, the more time it takes for the NPC to determine whether it has a target, a valid target, or not. So it won't automatically start attacking or pursuing. So that is what it's about. Uh, so last detection count is equal to detection count. Uh, for each collider, col in colliders, look at target is equal to new vector 3, col.transform.position.x, comma col.transform.position.y plus offset, uh, comma col.transform.position.z. Now, we use a line cast now. If physics.linecast from npc head.position comma look at target, comma out hit, comma npc site layers. Then for each string tags in npc dot my enemy tags, if hit dot transform dot compare tags, so valid tag is found, uh, increment detection count means that we think we've found something, so let's increment this detection count. Possible target is equal to col dot transform break jump out of this um, loop. Don't bother look at and looking at any of the other targets. So you can see I'm kind of repeating some of the code from the patrol script and it's it's for good reason. So that way we make sure that while in the alert state, it can be walking around for a while in the alert state. So while it's in the alert state, it is looking for possible targets. Now we check if the detection count has changed and if not, then set it back to zero. So let's say for example, uh, the de detection count was incremented up to four. But uh, it's come back to the look method. It's done a collider check. And, well, it's not found anything here. So the detection count 
has remained 4 and the last detection count will also be equal to 4. So if detection count is the same as last detection count, it means no new targets or the same target is no longer detected, so then detection count set it back to 0. So set this, um, it means the NPC uh, found nothing really. They thought they found something uh, for a while, but they thought about it and now they can't see anything any further. So that means like for example the player was running past a gap in the wall and they managed to make it past quickly. NPC thought they saw something, they'll go to that location, but now they can't detect anything, the player's long gone, so the detection count is zero. Okay, but what if it's greater? Check if detection count is greater than the requirement, and if so, pursue. So if detection count is greater than or equal to NPC dot required detection count, then that's that value in the state pattern script. Then detection count just reset it to zero. NPC dot location of interest is equal to possible target dot position. NPC pursue target dot pursue target is equal to possible target dot root. And then inform nearby allies. So we'll see that method soon, and that's another method. So other allies will be uh, informed that they should go into the alert state if they're currently patrolling. And then this one should go to the pursue state. So this NPC should go to the pursue state. I capture that location of interest just in case we fall back from the pursue state and uh, we need to go back and investigate that location. And then go to location of interest. So that's where we'll actually be uh, manipulating the uh, nav mesh agent. So we've got some more code to write. Okay, so now I'll write the go to location of interest method. So void go to location of interest npc dot mesh renderer flag dot material dot color is equal to color dot yellow if npc dot my nav mesh agent dot enabled and npc dot location of interest is not equal to vector three dot zero then npc dot my nav mesh agent dot set destination that location of interest so npc dot location of interest npc dot my nav mesh agent dot resume npc dot npc master dot call event npc walk anim if npc dot my nav mesh agent dot remaining distance is less than or equal to npc dot my nav mesh agent dot stopping distance and not npc dot my nav mesh agent dot path pending npc dot npc master dot call event npc idle anim npc dot location of interest is equal to vector three dot zero to patrol state means nothing found so it went all the way uh, to its destination to the location of interest by now the look method should have found something it hasn't found anything it's reached the end of the path and there's no new paths to calculate so we should just go back to the patrol state Okay, I'll write the inform nearby allies method now. So this one, void inform nearby allies. Now if time.time .time is greater than next inform, next inform is equal to time.time .time plus inform rate. Friendly colliders, which is an array up above, is equal to physics.overlap sphere and starting from npc.transform.position, comma npc.site range, comma npc.myfriendly layer. So all friendlies will be picked up and put in the collider. If friendly colliders dot length is equal to zero, then just return. No point doing the rest of this. Uh, for each collider ally in friendly colliders, if ally dot transform dot root dot can get component NPC state pattern is not equal to null, so that means they have a state pattern script. It is definitely an NPC ally. Uh, NPC stat the state pattern ally pattern is what I've called it is equal to ally dot transform uh, dot root dot get component npc state pattern if ally pattern dot current state is equal to the ally pattern dot patrol state so it's currently patrolling the uh, friendly then ally pattern dot pursue target is equal to npc dot pursue target ally pattern dot location of interest is equal to npc dot pursue target dot position ally pattern dot current state is equal to ally pattern dot alert state so that will set it into alert ally pattern dot npc master dot call event npc walk anim so there you go that's very very simple all of the allies in range will be told uh, that they have a pursuit target a location of interest and to switch into the alert state and as you know you've just written the alert state now 
that the alert state will make it walk to the location of interest in the hopes that the look method will find the possible target and move it into the pursue state. So that is our NPC alert state done. Uh, I can see if it will work. Let me just comment out going to the pursue state for now since we haven't written that code. And uh, let me hit play. All right, so yes, he has detected that he's very close to us. And there you go. So now, of course, he's supposed to go to the pursue state, but because he has nothing to go to, that's that. Now, why did he find me behind the wall? That's because I set that medium range in the patrol script and he, I was in front. So I've just set it so that if you're really close, then he knows that you're there. It's as if you're making noise. You could change that code. You could change it so that it's only if he can see you will he follow you. Uh, you could certainly do that. Uh, or you could just leave it like this. All right, so it's working at least. It is going to the alert state. That is very, very good. Okay, so that means we've got more work to do to write more behaviors. Anyway, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.